All right, so rewrite this in vertex form. Let's finish up 3.5. Um, let's try to finish this up in uh, the example section. We've got to complete the squares to solve this. So to complete the squares, to be over 2 squared, so that's negative 6 over um, 2, which is a negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. So I plug a 9 in here. Now remember, whatever number's in the outside, you have to multiply that through, except that there's a 1 there. So 1 times 9 is 9. So whatever I add, I have to also subtract. So I'm going to take 9 away. So 11 minus 9 is 2, but how did I get this x minus 3? Well, you need to factor this. And you can sit there and see the factors, or remember, whatever is inside of these parentheses, that is your factors, and it's a minus 3. So the factors for this will be x minus 3 and x minus 3. Well, x minus 3 times x minus 3 is x minus 3 squared. And that's how you get your vertex form for the problem. Write that in vertex form. Okay, so notice how I group those together, and I have the minus 5 just hanging out there by itself. You can't complete the squares with a number out in front, so i got to pull that negative 3 out. So I divide both those by negative 3. That gives me an x squared and a positive 2x right there. Okay, so now that I did that, I do b over 2 squared, which is 2 over 2 squared. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So it means I'm going to put a plus 1 in here. Now whatever you do to one side, you have to do the opposite to the other here. So I'm minusing a negative 3, because negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So I'm actually going to take that negative 3 and I'm adding it. But the reason why I'm adding it is because it's minus a negative, because you're always subtracting whatever you have onto the other side. So minus a negative becomes a plus 3. So really, that is a negative 2, and I have a negative 3 still on the outside. I need to factor this. Well, my factor for the inside is 1. Because remember, whatever is in the parentheses, that's your factor, and that's a positive 1. So it's x plus 1 and x plus 1, which we can rewrite that as x plus 1 squared. And remember, here's the tricky part. Um, it's the opposite. So in the last problem, on the inside, it was a positive 9. That's why we subtracted 9 to both sides. And this one, it was a negative 3, so that's why we're adding 3. You're just basically doing the opposite to each side. All right. Um, I guess if you had any more questions, any more examples, anything else you wanted, um, just uh, let me know. And I will, uh, I guess, talk with you guys later.